WHHI Sports presents in high definition the Golf Week Amateur Tour National Championship. From Hilton Head Island here at the host resort, the Palmetto Dunes Oceanfront Resort, Bob Stevens along with Chris Tremblay. Uh, Chris, a golf tournament that dwarfs anything How about the it? PGA Tour sees, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. We have 870 players. Bob. 870? 870 playing on eight different courses in five different divisions, just so everybody has a rundown on how the tournament works. It's 54 holes of individual stroke play. We have five flights, like I said, the championship flight, A, B, C, and D. Championship flight, for instance, is zero handicap, up to 3.9 index, and so on and upward from there with the other ones. The only flight that does not have a max on a hole is the championship flight. All the other flights, if you're playing individually your own ball and you take a triple bogey, that's as high as you can go. So we've had a lot of interesting developments out there on a lot of different courses. Obviously we have. We've also got a two-man championship going yes. on here, uh, sponsored by Edwin Watts. A awful lot going on. And again, it's been going on on the island all weekend long. An average PGA Tour event has 144 players. In fact, the uh, RBC Heritage only has about 132 most years. 870 players. So <laughs> the logistics right of all of this and moving it all around are, are really terrific and it brought us a lot of great golf though, with 870 players. It certainly has. We've seen some great play out on the golf course today. We're going to go to some great action out there later and just so our fans at home know how everybody qualifies. There are 43 different tours across the country. Here in Hilton Head for instance we're part of the Hilton Head Savannah Tour. The top 10 players in each division of their local tour qualify for this tournament. So throughout the course of the year Bob these players have been playing hard to get down here to Hilton Head in October. They've been playing hard and they have been playing seriously all week. They, they played the last three rounds, again, on the eight courses we talked about, but they've been here, most of them, all week, sampling uh, the great golf that we have here in the Low Country. It's just been a great show all week long. It certainly has been. Like you said, they've been playing all of the courses. All of the divisions finish up today, and they're going to be coming back here to the Arthur Hills course in beautiful Palmetto Dunes to figure out who's going to get all the accolades at the end of the day. All right, when we come back, we're going to speak with some of the officials, not only from the Golf Week Amateur Tour, but from Palmetto Dunes and from Bear Creek where the sea or where the championship flight was finishing up. That's all coming up next as we continue our coverage here on WHHI Sports. We're very pleased to be joined by Dennis McCormick, the owner of the Golf Week Amateur Tour. Dennis, first of all, let's get right into it. Why are we here on Hilton Head for the 15th year conducting this championship? Well, my wife and I have been vacationing here for over 20 years. We just love the island. The quality of the golf courses are impeccable. And thanks to the big man upstairs, we always have great weather and the courses are always in fantastic condition. The contestants, obviously they love coming back. This year the number is up to almost 900 players. We're at 875. What are they saying about being here? They, they absolutely love it. Now most of them come with their wives or significant others, family members. They're here for the whole week. Some of the cities do Ryder Cups early in the week and then play in the tournament as well. So most of these guys, it's going to be the last time they play golf this year for all my northeastern states. Yeah, unfortunately, it's starting to get cold up north. Let's talk about the Golf Week Amateur Tour and how people get involved, not only on the local level, but how they qualify for the um, national championship. Sure, you can go to our webpage, amateurgolftour.net. All the information is on there. We do put flyers and brochures out at every city. We're currently in 43 markets across the country. Uh, you don't have to be a scratch golfer to play in this tournament. That's what's great. It's for any type of golfer. We have five flights, champ, A, B, C, D. So no matter what your level of competitiveness is, you can compete. And how you get here is you have to be the top 10 in your uh, point standings in your own tour at home. There's also a team event going on here. Not only are the golfers playing individually within the confines of a handicap division, but we have a team event going on. That is correct. The Edwin Watts two-man challenge. You can partner up not only with with uh, one guy, you can partner up with multiple guys because all we do is take the two, two scores every day, total them up, and we put a winner, and it is, again, by flight, by the five flights. Well, Dennis, we know we enjoy having you all very much here on the island. We look forward to having you back. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much, and thanks to Palmetto Dunes. I'm here with Brett Heisler, who's the head pro and general manager at a Bear Creek Golf Club. Brett, how did Bear Creek get involved with the Golf Week Amateur Tournament? Well, they came to us about eight months ago uh, looking for a new course in their rotation. Uh, we've been known for a while for having some of the uh, best maintained uh, greens and, and fastest greens. Uh, the course is a challenge uh, for these players um, and uh, it's a good setup. So uh, we thought it'd be perfect fit for uh, this event and uh, to support the community. 
Since Bear Creek is one of the best courses on the island shape-wise and layout-wise, how does someone go about coming out here to play if, if they're not a member? Is that possible? It is. Uh, we do have availability for new members, um, so you could contact us um, uh, if you'd like to uh, come on out for, for a day. Um, we do have tee times available if you visit our website um, or give us a call in the golf shop or uh, um, there are some online um, tee time booking agents that, that you might be able to find some availability. So uh, please check us out if you're in the area. Awesome. Well, thank you for having us, Brett. We appreciate it. Thank you. We're very pleased to be joined by Brad Mara, the Vice President of Palmetto Dunes. First of all, Brad, thanks so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to be oh, with us. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. We have so many golfers down here playing in the Golf Week National Amateur Championship this weekend. However, they're not just golfers that are here. They've also brought down a lot of family members. Let's talk a little bit about Palmetto Dunes and all the wonderful things they get to enjoy while they're here. Yeah, other than the three great championship golf courses that we have here, we have an 11-mile lagoon system that's great for fishing, kayaking, canoeing. We also have an outfitter shop that's got 3,000 bikes in it, great bike trails here on Hilton Island, one of the top 10 tennis centers in the world. And across the street, we have Shelter Cove Marina that has firework, fireworks over the summer and shopping and dining. So it's, it's great for all families, and, and everybody has a great time and always comes back. And we certainly can't forget the three terrific golf courses here at Palmetto Dunes, the Robert Trent Jones, the George Fazio, and the Arthur hills and we have some pretty neat features on some of the new golf carts we've just gotten in do we not yeah we have the gps units here at the robert trent jones course um, we have usb ports over at the arthur hills golf course we're looking to get the golf bike here we also have segways so we have a lot of exciting things to do on our golf, golf courses um, to have fun with. so we've kind of headed in this direction of it's heading toward the new player the player that's a little bit more progressive the little bit younger thinker do we kind of is that the trend that we're going for here at palmetto dunes it is our summer crowd is a, a lot younger has families looking to do a little bit more than just a five-hour golf round and have fun while sure. they're out there listening to music and do whatever they like so we're here to cater to that and make sure they have a good time brad thanks so much for spending time with us good luck for the rest of the weekend all right thanks for having me appreciate it so now you've got an idea of all that went on just to get this tournament going you want to see some action? We've got that coming up right after the break. The Golf Week Amateur Tour National Championship right here on Hilton Head Island. And on the par 3 12th hole here at the Jones Course, current tournament leader here in the C Division, Kevin Parker on the tee. Holes playing just under 160 today. Let's see where Kevin's going to end up. It hits on the right fringe and kicks on there. He's going to have about 20, 25 feet for birdie. Good play. Good smart play. Didn't bring any water into play here because it's very easy to carry the green here on number 12 today and get it down in that hazard. So nice distance control by Kevin. Probably one of the reasons why he's the um, tournament leader. On the tee now at 12 is John Robinson. John is on the Hilton Head Savannah Tour, so a, a local chap. Wind's now picking up a little bit more, blowing a little downwind, a little right to left. And John's eyeballing it with little anticipation. Looks like the middle of the green, and nice smart play. Right in the middle of the green, left everything, left nothing to chance there. No bunker, no water. And now let's jump over to the championship flight. They're playing over at Bear Creek. Joe Jasper's here, who's leading by one from Charlotte. He's um, got about a 15-footer for birdie, a slider to the left, to the right, downhill a little bit. These greens are running really fast. Let's see if he can just keep it stress-free and knock it right by the hole and give himself a par. If not, make it for birdie and extend his lead to two. Looks like he hit a pretty good roll on it. He's watching it. Oh, just barely misses the cup to the right. He's got about three foot putt back uphill for a par. Walk out of the hole with a par, keep his one stroke lead. See if he can keep his stress free and walk out of here with a par. Boom, easy par, easy golf. With a lead like his right now, he's probably not playing very risky golf. He's probably just trying to hit it to the middle of the green, make a, at worst, make a par, get out of there and just keep on playing steady golf. Let's see what he can do here. Looks like he caught it pretty clean. All right, that's a really, really great shot. Joe is probably about 10 feet short of the hole. He's gonna have just a little bit downhill putt for birdie and 
Joe's got about a 10 foot putt for birdie, just still slightly downhill. It's going to be a quick one, though. It's going to be rolling a little bit from the right to the left. He's taking his time. He's not going to be too aggressive with it. Pars are good, especially for someone who's leading by three. Let's see what he can do here. Barely, barely taps it. It's definitely very speedy for him. Oh, and he just misses it, but pars are good. He's playing very steady golf. He had a little bit of a rough front nine, maybe a little bit, ner maybe a little bit of the nerves, but he's gathered. He's gathered himself pretty well here to play pretty solid on the back nine so far. Okay, let's head on over to Palmetto Dunes now to follow the sea flight. And John Robinson here from the Hilton Head Savannah Tour, getting ready to hit his approach shot on 13. He's looking a little left and just a little short. So John's going to have a chip there to try to get it up and down to save his par. And sizing up his chip shot here is John Robinson. This is his third on the par 4 13th. This is a tricky little shot right here. John's just about on the spine here. He's got to ride the spine with his chip and let it kind of drift down to the left there for the last 15 feet or so of the shot. Let's see how he plays it. Looks like he hit that just a little heavy. Looked like it had a pretty good line. Going to come up just a little bit short, though. He definitely had the right idea. And next to play here on 13 is going to be our tournament leader, Kevin Parker. Kevin hit his approach in here about 40, 45 feet left of the hole. But being the tournament leader, no reason to get too aggressive. And there's a beautiful lag putt right there by Kevin Parker. One of the reasons he's a tournament leader. And he will save another par here on number 13. All right, Robinson now for par. Did he hit it? Eh, just a little bit low. So John Robinson's going to have to take a bogey here on number 13. Not what he was looking for after his drive right in the middle of the fairway. And that will be a bogey five for John. So he'll drop one more. Distance isn't everything. Joe, he, uh, he's the leader here, and he isn't as long as Eric, but he's very, very consistent in all areas. Here's our leader, Joe, teeing off here at 18. Joe has a little bit more of a narrow stance, and uh, he hits the ball a little bit lower, but he gets the job done. That's just the right side of the fairway, and... About 130 yards over water. And he is going to find the green like he has done all day. He's got about 12 feet uphill putt. He might walk away with the birdie on 18. He's got a nice little uphill 15 footer for birdie. And uh, really nothing to lose on this one. Just go for it. Try to make it and see what happens. Well, I don't. Okay, well, you know what? Oh, left himself about a two-footer for par and make it and walk away with this victory. And here is Mr. Joe. He is going to make a par here, and he is your 2014 Golf Week Amateur Champion. Hats off to you, Mr. Joe. Common courtesy, shaking each other's hands, congratulating him on his victory. All right, now let's head on over to Pomelo Dunes to follow the sea flight. And here on number 18, 370 yards today, Kevin Parker, tournament leader, hitting his approach shot from about 170. And he's bringing in it kind of low, and it looks like it's going to run into the front bunker. So we're going to have another person playing from the front bunker here on 18. Kevin currently has about a four-shot lead, so it looks as though it's pretty safe. But in this game, you never know. Okay, here we are in the front bunker on number 18. This is the third shot for tournament leader Kevin Parker. Nicely taken out of that bunker. A lot of people have had trouble out of there today. He knocks it to about 15 feet, and he's going to have quite a few putts to win himself his first national championship here at the Golf Week National Amateur. And here is Kevin Parker for his par attempt here on number 18. Two putts ought to pretty much do it. Ooh, and he gets a little bit bold with the first one. Runs it about four feet by. And now tournament leader Kevin Parker to finish up and get himself a national championship here on the Golf Week Amateur Tour. He does a little lip out, but I think he's still got enough of a lead that 
Kevin Parker will be your champion in the C Division of the Golf Week Amateur Tour National Championship. Congratulations goes to Kevin. There are so many people we want to congratulate for a great tournament this week. Uh, the PGA professionals involved at all eight golf courses, especially Sam Wolf uh, here at the Hills course at Palmetto Dunes, and Clark Sinclair, the director of golf at Palmetto Dunes, the host course is here. And, but again, all of the great head professionals, PGA members, uh, deserve some congratulations, as does our winner, the championship flight winner, Joe Jaspers from Charlotte. Congratulations. Uh, tougher this year than it has been the other four times you've won? Uh, definitely tougher this year. Yeah, uh, Bear Creek is literally, it is a bear. A very difficult golf course, you can tell by the scores. I mean, scores are definitely higher this year. Joe, you came in having a good season already. Why don't you tell all our viewers all the other things you've done this summer, because you've had a pretty good run. <laughs> uh, yeah, the last couple of months have been good. I won the Charlotte City Amateur. Uh, and that wasn't your first time for that either, was it? That was the fifth time for yeah. that one there. <laughs> there you yeah. go. So it's Gotta keep up. Gotta keep up. Uh, just won the North Carolina Mid Amateur okay. uh, about three weeks ago, so that was my first uh, state amateur. Uh, so you're event, beating up so. on all the kids that are just barely out of college, or what, 25 and over? Well, I'm trying to. The, the, the Mid Amateur is the uh, age 30 well, plus. Oh, it's yeah. 30 plus. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Terrific. Yeah. So we got to push that age up as far as we can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those young kids can play, can't they? Oh, they sure can play. <laughs> my gosh. I don't know if they're getting younger. I'm getting older. One of the two. You talked about Bear Creek. Talk about the other layouts here, and, and, and what brings you keep bringing you back here, and and, and the excitement for the whole tour of being here. Yeah, I mean, the weather has been awesome. I mean, I think every, we've been here, I don't know, what, six, seven years, and I can't remember a, a bad weekend that we've had here. So uh, that's been good. The courses are all in terrific shape. Um, you know, all the staffs go out of their way to, to make sure that it's got the feel of a real championship. I mean, they do a terrific job here. That's any, great. Any particular part of your game really gelling as you came in, or was everything just pretty solid? Everything was pretty good. My putting, uh, really up until today, has been really good. I and mean, it makes up for a lot of bad swings. <laughs> sure, so sure it's, it's saved me a lot here in the last couple of months. But that's what, that's probably been the strength of my game. Lately. But but then when it leaves you, like apparently it did today, yeah. uh, then, then you got then you got to rely on everything. Huh? You sure do. I mean, you just got to grind out there, especially at the Bear Creek. It's it is a real test of golf. I mean, the greens are in perfect shape. You can't you know blame the course for anything other than it's just a tough track. You've been coming down here for quite a few years. Now it's safe to ask you: Are there any favorite courses you have down here? Granted, they're all enjoyable. Any we know that. Course? I mean, I really like the Jones course. Um, that's one of my favorites down here. Um, I mean, uh, uh, was it Hilton Head Country Club? Right, Country Club Hilton Head. Country Club Hilton Head. Uh, are two that come to mind okay. right down here. Okay. The camaraderie with all these guys has got yeah. to be terrific too, isn't it? Uh, well, I mean, we'll, we'll, let's sell this tour a little bit. Well, that, I mean, that's what, what brings me back. And, that, and that's why, you know, in Charlotte I play consistently. There's a, a group of really good guys. Everybody's real competitive, but it's, you know, it's not cutthroat. Um, another guy makes a great shot, you know, you, you congratulate him, you pat him on the back for a great round. Um, so it's, there's a collegial feel to, to playing out here. Well, we congratulate you on a terrific tournament. Again, a fifth Golf Week Mid our Amateur Championship. Uh, congratulations, and uh, you'll bring it back next year for number six? I'm looking forward to next year. All right. We look forward to having you back. Great, thank you. Thank you. And we're here with Kevin Parker, winner of the C Division of the Golf Week Amateur Tour National Championship. First of all, Kevin, how does that sound? National champion. Sounds great, very <laughs> great. <laughs> sounded better, sounded better to, uh, Round 17, 18 hole there. <laughs> it sounded a little yeah, better as yeah. the round went yeah, on. Yeah, because you yes, had sir. a little trouble there in the middle of the back nine. It looked like we were getting a little loose, but you regrouped. Yes, I had a triple on 14. Then I, had, I think I had a par on the next hole, and then I had a double on the next hole after that. So then I got it back together with two more pars and finished it out. So anything leading up to this event that <clears> told you, gee, I'm playing pretty well. I might have a chance when I go down there this year. I always play well at uh, Arthur Hills and uh, Robert Trent Jones putting. Putting and chipping well, usually, so always in it. Talk about the week uh, and, and the, the whole thing. Did you feel like you were right in it all week, or did you? After you, the first you, day, yeah. after the first day when I shot the, uh, I think I shot 81 out here. Okay. And I figured when I saw the scores come in, they were around that 89, 90 range. I thought well, I had a good shot, to, you know, to be in it t towards the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It seemed like you had great distance control with your putter. It seemed like even on some of the long putts I saw out there, you had a good feel for the greens this week. Yeah, very smooth greens, great course, great shape, no problem. Talk about this whole national championship because you organized one of the local uh, sections, really, uh, in eastern North Carolina out of Fayetteville. 
tell us what this means, this whole big, to get all 800 guys together for, for all this. It's a, it's a week of uh, everybody at each tour level coming in, having time with their family coming in and just playing golf the whole week. I represent the Down East Tour, and we got 150 members, and we got about 40 down here this week, so it's been a great week. You're proud of that 40 bunch too, I bet, uh, and how they played and how they how they enjoyed the week? Yes, I think we're going to have probably, I would say 10 in the top 20 out of each, each flight, yeah. How about that? Yeah. So Kevin, next year moving forward, are we going to jump up a division? Do you see your game getting a little better? We're going to try to jump it up a division and maybe take the B flight next year? Mm, I'll jump the B. I don't, I don't know about taking it, though. So, <laughs> I might take a couple years of that. You, you don't want any more of that? <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm through with that. So, so we're going to try again next year at B. But, you know, competition gets better when you go to B. It does, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Flat. Yeah. This whole group, uh, and, and again, to, for folks who are, who are just learning about the Golf Week Amateur Tour and want to get involved next year, uh, they can do that in their own sections and, and right. really have a terrific time. Kind of explain how it all works. Then go to golfweekamateurgolftour.net. Mm -hmm. It'll have every um, city that's on there that you're close to. Pick it out, uh, see who the tour director is, mm -hmm. and join. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. Yeah. And, and then you play a number of qualifying events, obviously, and the best players get to come here? Correct, yeah. Um, most of the time it's the, uh, we got a point system, and it's top 10 out of each flight. And guys in the top 10 will go to Hilton Head out here. They get so. to qualify to come here. That's, that's right. right. That's, that's super right. stuff. Again, Kevin, thank you so much uh, for, for spending a little time yeah. with us. Congratulations on your win. It. Yes, sir. Thank National you. champion, and Evan I, Parker. I, 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 wow, that, that still sounds uh, good. And I want to thank uh, Dennis McCormick. Yeah. That's on a great show out here. Uh, Golf Week Magazine and Edwin Watts, great sponsors. All right. Yes, sir. See, he, he's got this all he down. He does have it all Remember down. to thank the sponsors. We want to thank you all for joining us. It's been a great weekend here at Hilton Head with almost 800 golfers having just a terrific time, uh, showing off their skills, playing a little serious golf, That's right. having a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> Absolutely. For Chris Tremblay, I'm Bob Stevens. Thanks so much for joining us.